Hello everybody, this is Holger Walter from Festakt in Germany and today I want to present you the new Pangolin Laser Media Dock 5.5. To run a laser show you need much more than only the laser output. You need professional audio, you need a SMPT timecode, you need a media like a DMX to control your lighting, MIDI to connect your uh, controller. So when you set up all these things uh, on your table uh, with your laptop, uh, you have a lot of uh, USB hubs, you have a lot of cables, you have a lot of uh, single items all around and that is was the idea to build a complete uh, housing enclosure, 19 inch professional uh, housing with all these items uh, inside in one box. So let's have a look onto the front panel. On the left side we have uh, the audio control and uh, here you have the volume control to control the volume of the headphone of this small speaker sometimes you don't have a monitor speaker on your side so it's quite helpful to have a small speaker uh, to have maybe the preview for the customer and you have the headphone uh, connection and you have a uh, uh, control for um, mono and stereo switch. Sometimes people give you only a sum uh, with uh, one line only, so in this case you can output uh, mono signal. On the right side you have the security features like the key switch and the emergency button. Uh, the system uh, is in standby when it shows you the red LED. Once you turn on the key switch. It is giving you power on the external connector that powers the laser. Once you push the emergency button, the power is off. You have to release it and you have to reactivate it by the key switch again. We come to the center of the box. This is a very nice feature of the laser media dock. Uh, you can slide in your timecode or FP3 boxes. So depending on the size of your show, you just configure your system, put it inside, it is connected, connect your uh, USB cable, put in front the acrylic plate uh, so it cannot uh, go out. So this uh, transparent glass window gives you the access uh, for the view inside, for the look inside. So you can see the complete status of your FP3 boards and the timecode. Okay, time to have a look onto the back side of the system. On the left side you see here the power out and input. Uh, this is by a new trick of professional connectors. Uh, capable of handling up to 20 amperes. So uh, this is uh, good to connect a lot of lasers on your output that is controlled by the via a relay by the security switch from the front. Uh, here you find the USB inputs coming from your laptop. This as well uh, we use uh, the Nutrik connectors so you cannot uh, pull out the uh, USB cables. We have uh, one input USB for the FP3 boards only uh, to have a really reliable system and uh, another one only for all the other devices. On this section you see a lot of uh, DB25 connectors. This is uh, two ILDA outputs each uh, uh, FP3 box uh, so you can connect uh, two separate uh, projectors uh, from one FP3 board. On this position you will find the SMPT timecode input and output via RCA connectors. Uh, more to the right we find a USB uh, just to connect other devices or maybe a lamp or connect just your iPhone for charging. Uh, up you find uh, MIDI in and out. This is uh, two MIDI in and two MIDI out. It is self-configured. Uh, On the right side you have DMX uh, 512 uh, output 
and uh, here this is a very nice feature uh, you have uh, audio out uh, with the integrated DI box uh, so it is isolated and symmetric already no need to connect uh, external DI box uh, in the center here you find the uh, ground lift uh, button so when you want to run your system the only thing that you have to do is just to connect you to USB cables connect your power that's it so and here you see a complete leather show control system with the Pangolin Laser Media Dock 5.5 for beyond having five elder outputs MIDI, SIMD uh, and DMX